welcome to Liz at Home. Today is going to be part one of a three-part series that I'm doing in collaboration with Tonya Colors. I will put her channel link below and it would be great if you watched both of us doing our Color It My Way little collaboration. We're both going to be coloring the same picture in this Fairy Celebrations book by M Clara Markova. We're not going to be showing each other what we're doing until we do the big reveal and do our videos. We're going to try and release them at the same time. So it would be great if you could see both hers and mine. So it's a similar format to what I've done once with Sandy Colors. And we've chosen this image to do. And we've just decided to do whatever we enjoy doing the most with our colouring. So I'm going to be starting today with this little bird who is very cute. And I want to do a sort of a purpley pink and a yellow bird, I think. Purple, pink and yellow. Or I hope that works out. And I'm going to start by doing a base coat on the birdie with soft pastels. So without further ado, I'm going to be doing that and then we will discuss what we think. So I this is a technique I learned from Sandy at Color Creatively and it's just an old piece of t-shirting and I use my soft pastels. This is the Mangyo Soft Pastels. I will link them below in case you're interested, but any soft pastel works. I happen to have this set. I think it's the 48 set. I had a smaller set which I gifted to somebody else when I bought this bigger set. And so I'm just doing this as a first layer so that it goes a little bit more quickly and I don't have to do too many layers and then I will be doing the rest with color pencil. I'll be going over this with color pencil. I'm not sure if this is the right color that I want. I think it is. It's a good color for me. Just going to go around the outside. So basically you just rub on here. I've never done this in this book, so it's quite interesting to see how it works. I can also get myself a cotton bud to get in some of the finer places. It's a little rough patch that I can feel with my finger on the page. I want the highlight to be on his belly there. You can erase the soft pastels if they go a little bit out of the lines, but I prefer to try and not go out the lines so I don't have to bother with the erasing. That's why I quite like this because I can feel exactly where I am with my finger. And then I'm just going to go into the middle with the yellow over here. And I can do the blending with pencils. And I'll get onto the, the longer tail feathers later. Maybe I'll go in with the dark purpley colour first. Yeah. So as this is going to be quite a long video, I've just sped up the rest of my applying of the soft pastels using exactly the same technique. Also, I don't think the sound on the camera of the rubbing is very pleasant, so I decided it would be better to just do this with a voiceover. 
So I actually decided to go with some of my budget pencils, which these are Lyra Groove. They're a, a kid's pencil, actually. A lot of scholars use them, but I really like them and they've got the colors that I particularly want. So I'm going with them. I just need to get some paper towel to put my hand on. So now my plan with this whole page originally was to just detail with the pencils. But as I started coloring with them over this, I ended up just about coloring completely over the soft pastel anyway, because I liked the vibrancy of these pencils rather than the pastel color. And I think I've made the right decision. I am liking how the bird is turning out. I'm just sharpening my pencil quickly and then going to continue. I've decided that I'm not going to color each single little feather as a single entity, but approaching the bird as a whole. And I'm just going to color over all of her. She's a lady birdie because she's got her little babies there. So I'm just generally coloring and using a circular technique as I do so. I'm going to put on some music as I do this and speed it up a little bit because it's just coloring with pencil and there's nothing particular to say about it. Well, I've had a day or two's break and I didn't like the yellow here. So I erased it as well as I could with my Derwent sharpener, the electric one. And then I've gone over it with the darker pink and now a little bit of the slightly darker. I don't know, it's a kind of a pinky purple sort of color so the this front of this little bird has got all sorts of things with a pale tinge of yellow underneath and i think when i use yellow and instead of this bright one that i was using i'm going to go for the slightly paler yellow and maybe go over all of that and now i'm trying to decide with the wings um I think I want to keep them on the pastel. No, I'll make them bright as well. But I'll get, I'm just going to use this paler lemon. And then I'm also going to use 
some zested just to blend this all together. I'm not sure if you know what zested is, but it is a solvent that is non-toxic and non-flammable. So it's quite great for blending pencil, color pencil, and it leaves no residue when it's dry. So it's quite economical as well. I've had a bottle full that I poured onto a sponge that I bought from zested. And I've been using, I didn't pour the entire bottle full, I poured less than a quarter of the bottle full onto that sponge. And I've been using that container with the zested in for, oh, probably about two or more years now. And I've still got three quarters of a bottle left. So it's extremely economical. And you can color over it as well. So it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't do anything to the tooth of your paper. So I actually, as a blending solution, I find it quite nice. I'm still not mad about the smell, but it's not as bad as the more toxic blending solutions are. So, or the more toxic solvents. So at the moment, I'm just going over and over for about the 923rd layer of this. And I'm trying to make it all look nice and then I'm going to get onto the rest of the wings and I think I'm going to come back to you when I start doing the little nest because I don't want to bore you. I've decided to do the nest in the same colors as the bird because I think that will bring some unity to the page so I've gone ahead and colored the bottom part of the nest already and I'm going to do this little frill in a more pale pink. So I decided to do that with you guys so that you can see what I'm actually doing. I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see it nicely. I must say I absolutely love Clara Markova's artwork and she really helps us quite a lot with all the pencil bits that kind of show you where the folds would be and everything. So I'm using this pink that I used a lot on the bird as the darker color of the little pale pink frill. And I'm going over her pencil lines and just lightly sort of shading. And I I always like, I want to, to make the highlight stand out so that you can see the folds in the little frill so that it sort of stands out. And I'm being quite light with this and I think I'm going to mix these pencils with some Prismacolors because the Prismacolors do blend so well, especially the white Prismacolor, which is like the very best white pencil you can get in my opinion. I know many people also really love the Karen Dash Luminance White, and I quite like that, but I'm I'm a Prismacolor girl through and through. So that's my first 
and most favorite <laughs> white pencil to use. So I'm just doing this and all the marks that Clara Mar Markova has given us on this, I'm covering with this darkest of my shades of pink that I want to use for this frill. And then I'm going to go on to the lighter shades. Actually decided that wasn't quite dark enough for a shadow, so I'm going over them again with a slightly darker purple. And then we're going to move on to a pale pink Prisma color. As I color this, I'm going over the lines that I've done already and then moving in more to the center and still leaving some white highlight. I'm trying to be very careful to leave some white highlight there so that it can show up as standing up and out of the frill and give it some dimension. Now we've finished that with the pink and I'm going to use some white. I'm first going to use this Lyra Groove White to bring it all together and then I will probably use my Prismacolor White as well. It just seems to have a better magical property but I, I love these Lyra Groove pencils. They are on the hard side but they I really enjoy coloring with them. So here's my teeny tiny little Prisma White pencil and this sort of smooshes it all together quite nicely. So I'm going to do that. I won't force you to watch the whole entire frill with me. And that brings the white to a close. Now we're going on to the band. I don't quite know what to call this. I think it's ribbon that sort of wound around there and I want that to be slightly more on the blue side. So I'm using the same procedure as I used for the frill in doing the darkest colors first and going over Clara Markova's pencil marks. Sorry, I bashed my camera. And then making sure to try and leave some white highlights as, as I go along. And so I'm going to put a little bit more music on for you again to watch. I'll do it in real time instead of speeding this up but I will try to make it not too long. <laughs> I hope that that's fine for you. Let me know if you prefer real time or if you prefer the sped up version and seeing it all. I never quite know what to do, but uh, this has taken hours and hours and hours to color, so I can't do the whole thing in real time. It would be just too boring to watch, I think.
Well, that brings us to the end of this band of ribbon around the nest. And I'm just going over it again with the trusty white Prismacolor pencil just to, you can just see how it smooths it out so beautifully. And then I think that's also going to bring us to the end of this video. And I really hope that you've enjoyed watching thus far with me on this picture. And I do hope that you will also watch Tanya's first video. And hopefully we'll have the next video up tomorrow for you to watch us as we carry on with our picture. So I'm getting my pencil sharpened and all ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. Bye-bye now.